What's up? Cardboard Moses with you, everybody. Welcome. Uh, it's time to do a four-box random team break of Stadium Club Baseball. Random teams. So we got to random it. Let's see what we got. Going seven times in the random. We're going to random the players from the Himalayas, then the teams, and then match them up, and then boom. Magic. Seven times in the randoms. Here we go. Good luck, everyone. That's fine. Six in the money shot. Seven. Uh, the closest thing we have to filling in the store, Mike, is uh, we have three teams left in Stadium Club Baseball Full Case PYT number three. And we also have four teams left in 2015 Tops Chrome Football number 11. And we have seven teams left in 2018 Elite Football Full Case PYT number two. So we have three breaks close to filling. I think we can fill all three tonight. All right, let's random the teams. Not going seven times. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, and the money shot. Seven. Boom goes the dynamite. Let's see who's getting what. Well, I gotta clean that up. to see but not that way screen so you can see it. Boom. There you go. So you can see all the teams. Maybe give you guys a little bit of time in case you guys uh, want to do a little trading here. Put some stuff away. Be right back. Give you about a minute or two. See if you guys want to, again, like I said, do any trades. Now is the time. No trades. Doesn't look like it. All right, cool. Uh, sure, Zach. Let's see. 169 for the last teams. Let me see. Dude, I'll tell you what, uh, Zach. You already sent me a hundred. Uh, you already sent me 40. Dude, you sent you sent me a hundred. 
I'll give you the last four teams in Chrome. So that'll be a saving of 29 bucks. There you go, four at you. First of all, you got to learn how to spell the guy's name. LeBron. Right. You say done. Let me take it out the store then, sir. And I'll rip that after this. Appreciate you, Zach. There's some still some really good teams left, man. So that was a really good deal for you and me. Now we just got to hit you something great. Alright, so Elite Football is done. That leaves Stadium Club. And elite. Lakers have some funny business. What makes you say that for? Dude, can you please spell LeBron right for you're killing me? Oh, Laker tickets are going to be through the roof. But does this mean Lonzo Ball is going to get traded now? Because there's no way they're going to keep all that talent together having signed LeBron. They're going to have to give something up to get another player out there. I wouldn't get Leonard. I would get a big man like Anthony Davis. Or some shooters, man, because that's what you need. You need some shooters for LeBron. Well, let's see what we get out this box. Good luck, everybody. A red Jeff Bagwell, Astros, going to the Twins, Jose Berrios, the autograph, there you go, Silverman with a hit, I know, right, Zach, you would, uh, you and a lot of people would probably be maxing that thing out, <laughs> a black Brian Anderson, Rookie for the Marlins. Greg Maddox, Red Braves. A black Tomas Nito, rookie for the Mets. Who got the Mets? My man, Sean. Autographed to 25 right there. Very nice. Very nice. One shotting an auto right there. So the Lakers just signed LeBron all willy nilly. My question now is like, is it a sign and trade? You know what I mean? Like, Carlos Santana, Phillies red. Oh, damn, really? Uh, Wolfie that sucks I 
We got an orange Freddie Freeman. Braves. Yeah, because if they straight up sign LeBron, that's one thing. But if it's like a sign and trade, that's a whole different ball game. So that's that's what I want to know. Like, do they still have the players? Like, you know what I mean? Like, people are still in the car. Like, what's the deal? Like, I, I I need details. Starling Marte, Red Pirates. Because if you add LeBron to last year's Lakers team, that team is still not making the playoffs. So I, I, I really would like to know what LeBron is thinking. Because Chris Paul resigned like a four-year contract with the Rockets. KD signed a one-year deal. So maybe KD to Lakers next year? Lakers and uh, getting KD and LeBron next year maybe? That would be kind of cool. Uh, Kawhi Leonard probably more than likely going to end up with Los Angeles. But he's still under contract with the Spurs. So in order to get, I think he's still under contract with the Spurs. So in order to get him, it'd have to be a trade. Uh, Francisco Lindor, Red Indians. Andrew Benintendi, Chrome for the Red Sox. Watch Thomas Bryant turn out to be the GOAT. So they're going to have to give up one of their young players out there. They're either going to have to give up Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball, Kuzma, in order to bring in another superstar. Unless they got the money. If they got the money, then pff, ball out, L.A. Ball out. Daryl Strawberry, red for the Mets. Going to the Giants rookie autograph for Miguel Gomez. There you go, Giants. My boy Steve with a little hit right there. They better not give up Julius, man. Julius Randle is a stud, bro. I really like Julius Randle. They that's they should not give him up. LeBron's never really played with a good big, you know, aside from Chris Bosh and Kevin Love. And I really, I mean, yeah, I guess the guy, yeah, I guess he has played with good big men. But Julius Randle is, you know, way more athletic than the both of them, and he's still developing. I really like Julius Randle. I think him and LeBron, that pick and roll could be nasty. A black Anthony Rizzo for the Cubs. All right, either I'm blind or I skipped an auto. Because, well, there was three autos in that box. Okay, never mind. Never mind. That's a good deal. Because it's supposed to be two autos in every box. And we got three in that one. They still have Luol Deng. If I'm not mistaken, they're paying Luol Deng way too much money. Because he's not playing. Therefore, they're paying him way too much. Pretty much. But if they still have Lou all day, it's because they can't wave him or anything like that. He would have to be a part of a trade deal, and nobody's trading for Lou all day. So they gotta, they gotta pay that man. Speaking of paying that man, isn't today uh, Bobby Bonilla Day or something like that? On this day, like 18 years ago or something like that, Bobby Bonilla came up with, or his agent, I think, came up with like one of the greatest deals ever to defer uh, some of his, uh, his checks with interest rate. My man's been getting like five, like five million a year, or I think it's, I don't know, man. But that dude gets paid like every year a million or two just because. It was yesterday? Never mind. Either way, that's 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 crazy, dude. Dude hasn't played for that organization in over ten years and they're still paying him. That's that's the kind of agent I want. Negotiate that kind of deal. That's a great deal.
let me check on this paint right here. All right, Zach, I just want to confirm that I got your payment. Thank you. Right, this is box two. Let's see something big time. Got a Red Cal Ripken Jr. Orioles. Rookie autograph for the A's, Paul Blackburn. The check's in the mail. The, uh, the water's boiling. The eggs are hatching. The, the roosters are doodling. You get you get what I'm saying. We're in business. I'll get that breaking after this. Got a red Chris Sale, Red Sox. Andy Pettit, Chrome for the Yankees. Man, Silverman's killing it with the autos right now. My dude always does well on our breaks in the store. I don't know why he doesn't buy into breaks more often. It's a shame, man. Because he be, he be hitting good, too. Eh, what are you going to do? Let's suppose we read... Giants. Oh no, 4 you where are you going, man? Can't do these breaks without you, bro. Don't leave me. Hey, Dominic Smith, orange for the Mets. Not nearly enough, freaking nature. Not nearly enough. Oh, I thought I saw a redemption or something. Byron Buxton, red for the Twins. He had a sick catch the other day. I want to say Friday. There's a rookie Otani for the Angels. Uh, Freaking nature in this? No. Veteran base? No shippy. Unless, of course, it's like a variation or a sharp print or something like that. Then it does. But if it's not, veteran base, no ship. Elvis Andrus, red for the, t uh, for the, uh, the Rangers. Andrew McCutcheon, Chrome for the Giants. Yeah, Rara, tell me about it. Of course, the Otani goes to you. That's that's just silly. A red Brian Dozier, Twins. Autograph for the Nationals, rookie Rowdy Reed. Or Rowdy Red. Or Rowdy Rayad. I don't know. But either way, there you go. Nationals getting hit. My man Ryan. With the one spot mojo. Getting that auto. Two boxes left. Freaking nature, if I pulled an Otani autograph right now, what would you do? Would you really? Freaking nature? 
a chicken tender sub with everything on it. Now nah, you don't even gotta do all that freaking nature. Just buy me a chicken tender sub. A chicken tender sub with everything. All right, all right. I'm gonna hold you to that freaking nature. I'm gonna pull this Otani autograph. And if you don't bring me my chicken tender sub, I'm gonna hold that card hostage. Boom. It'll stay there forever. You can you'll see it, but it'll be like right there. Nah, nah, nah. Just a straight up regular chicken tender sub. And I won't give it to you until you bring me the chicken tender sub. No, not a one on one. Just an Otani auto. Nope. The, the, the deal's been made already. Otani auto. Period. Doesn't have to be a one on one. I am hungry too. I did I brought I brought food though. Can we fill Stadium Club? I mean, it's a full case of it. Three teams left. Cardinals, D-backs, White Sox. Anybody just want to put that out of its misery already? I mean, why not? Be, be humane. Be humane. Just put it out of its misery. Pretty sure this is my boy right here. Boom. Do the old open sesame. All right. Box three. What do you got? Max Fried autograph for the Braves. Rookie auto. There you go, Braves. Getting a hit. Debra getting a hit. That's a new name. Haven't seen that name before. Congratulations, Debra. Welcome to the family. The Rip City family. A black Didi Gregorius for the Yankees. I hit a one on one of his earlier today. A red Manny Machado Orioles. I'm surprised they haven't traded him out there. Orioles suck this year. <laughs> Yo, freak of nature. You ever heard of a place called Mary's? Zhu Wei Lin Red for the Red Sox. It's, uh... It's over there by uh, close to Casolas, more or less. Over there on, um, what is it, 27th Avenue? It's pretty fire. Open 24-7, dog. If you ever want, like, legit Cuban food, hit up Mary's. Corey Kluber, red for the Indians. If you're ever, like, there by, you know, Coral Gables area... By uh, 27th Ave. Is this little corner spot called Mary's? Bro, fire. Didi Gregorius for the Yankees. Red. Dude, I got me a pan con bistec out there. You know, a steak sandwich. Paid like five bucks for it, bro. But it was loaded. You know how them uh, little old Hispanic ladies, you know, they, they put way more food in it than they should? Oh, yeah. One of the benefits of uh, living in Miami is you got grandmas everywhere just giving you extra food. And because I'm big, they give you, they give me even more food. Like, oh, he's a big boy. Let's give him some more food. It's it's great, but it's not at the same time. But I ain't going to blame him. Clayton Kershaw red for the Dodgers. I just figured I'd bring that to your attention because it's pretty pretty delicious. I introduced you to Yambos, and see, that, that changed your life. 
Chris Taylor red for the Dodgers. Uh, yeah, of course there's potato sticks on the steak sandwich. That's the only way to have the steak sandwich. Ozzy Albies chrome rookie for the Braves. If it's a steak sandwich without the little mini potato sticks, it's not a steak sandwich. Not an official Cuban one anyway. They sell these uh, stuffed potatoes out there too. I didn't actually try one, but uh, a friend of mine took it. And it was smelling pretty good. Clint Frazier, rookie for the Yankees. Yambo's underage. To oh, no. Nikki Delmonico, rookie auto for the White Sox. Very nice. Logan, one shot in the White Sox auto. Uh, a smart choice, Freak of Nature. A very smart choice. A black Corey Kluber, Indians. All right, last box mojo. All I need top loaders. Go get that real quick. Yeah, that's, I think you did tell me about that, freaking nature. Well, it's a good thing you didn't fall for the trap, because that could have been a sting operation, bro. That could have been a sting operation. And the freak would have went down in a blaze of glory. Hmm. What's this about? Never mind. Exactly. <laughs> you would have been on there with, uh, I forgot the guy's name. That uh, To Catch a Predator guy. That's pretty funny. <laughs> uh. They're hiding up in Yambo's dog. Hansen. I was going to say Chris Hansen, but I wasn't sure if that was the dude's name. You know what I was actually watching this weekend? I like watching documentaries. Like, I don't really... I'm not really a fan of, like, watching TV shows, except for, like, Jersey Shore. But that's a different story, because that's, like, from my childhood. But, uh, you know, reminiscing, whatever. Anyway, uh, I was watching a documentary... On uh, the Miami Super Prison, freaking nature. 
You know what I'm talking about? TGK? And uh, my boy's brother works there. And yeah. Um, Rara, I have no idea what you're talking about. Anyway, last box mojo. Good luck. Lorenzo Cain, red for the Brewers. JD Davis, rookie auto for the Astros. So yeah, I, I just like watching documentaries, and I was watching a documentary on like prisons and stuff. Yeah, he's a he's a corrections officer, but he's like he's pretty high up in the in the hierarchy. So he doesn't really like deal with much of the day to day. He's on he only gets involved when like shit hits the fan and shit gets real. Like when people get stabbed, you know what I mean? Like people trying to like attempt suicide, like things like that. That's when my boy steps in. And I know him too cuz you know, he's my brother, you know, he's the brother of my one of my best friends. He helped raise me too. You know, he he kept me out of trouble a lot of times, so I you know, I look up to him as a brother too, man. So some of the stories he he tells me, man, is pretty ridiculous. But I was looking to see him in the in the in the documentary because he told me he was on there, but I, I didn't see him on there. So I have to call him on his on his bullshit. Chris Taylor, black for the Dodgers, or maybe it, it might have been a different documentary because there's a few documentaries on that prison, the uh, the Miami Super Mega Prison, whatever it's called. Used to be called TGK. That's what all the locals know it as. It's probably called something else now. Uh, Joe Maurer, red for the Twins. And I hope to never actually know the name of the prison because uh, I'm straight on that. I saw that one too, Ra Ra. Yeah, I had seen that one already. That one was one of the more uh, chilling documentaries of like sexual assault. And all that stuff that goes behind, you know, obviously that happens behind bars. That man, prison is scary, dog. And Otani, rookie, never compromise, insert. Prison is scary. That's that's what I learned from watching all those documentaries. And then I started watching, like, like, uh... The world's most dangerous criminals, blah, blah, blah. Man, I just, uh, I spiraled into, like, the dark side of the, of the YouTube. Chris Davis, red A's. Jose Altuve, Astros, red. Insert. All right, where the autos at? Where the big autos at? Where's that Otani at? I want, I want, I want my boy to bring me a, a public sub. You didn't think I was going to catch it, did you? The members only super short print for the Diamondbacks, Archer, Archie Bradley. Nice. Yeah, I, I watch those sometimes too, Ra Ra. You will, or or you're just watch. It. You'll just stare at it. You know, there the entire time. Billy Hamilton, red for the Reds. It is, it is good there, exactly, for sure, Ra Ra. That's honestly, that's why I do it. You know, I like watching really fucked up things to help put my life in perspective. And, and it's like, damn, I, I could be one of those guys behind bars, you know, getting raped. But no, I'm not. You're not doing too bad, Jesse. You're not doing too bad. Or man, I could have been, I could have been, I could have been one of those guys locked up abroad in like Nicaragua or something. But no, you're not. Freddie Freeman, red for the uh, in, uh, for the Braves. I'm sorry. Jose Canseco, chrome for the A's. I don't know how healthy that is, you know, comparing others to you or whatever. But hey, it works for me. So whenever I'm feeling down, whenever I'm sad, I just look at somebody else going through worse crap. It helps me feel better about everything. Like, it's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. Christian Villanueva, red for the Padres. Autograph for the Marlins. 
Rookie Auto, Sandy Alcantara. So no Otani, unfortunately. But there's Sandy. We got the Marlins. And why don't I see the Marlins up there? There you go. Kevin. Oh, so Kevin also one-shotting an auto. Very nice. Very nice. Got a black Chris Sale. Red Sox. Got a black beam team. Anthony Rizzo. Number 299 for the Cubs. Eh, it's all right. Uh, freaking H. I'll buy my own. And uh, that's it for the break. Recap time. A beam team to 99 for the Cubs. Anthony Rizzo. There it is. 99 out of 99, no less. So an eBay 101. Archie Bradley, members only. D-Bag, super short print. Otani Angels, uh, never compromise insert. Special Forces Otani. And a base Otani Angels. No auto for Otani, unfortunately. Autos, though. We have Alcantara Marlins. Davis Astros. Delmonico White Sox. Fried Braves. Reed Nationals. Uh, Blackburn A's. Gomez Giants, Nito Mets, Barrios Twins. Boom goes the dynamite. That was the break. 2018 Stadium Club Baseball. Four box, random teams, number three. Thank you, eBay. We'll get that out to you. Sorry, eBay. It's not for eBay. It's from our RipCityCars.com family. We'll get that out to you.